What if I told you that only one nation was ever allowed to completely redesign America's most exported fighter jet? While dozens of countries fly the F-16, Japan did something extraordinary. They took this proven American design and transformed it into something entirely different. The result? A fighter so advanced, it shocked even the Pentagon. This is the story of the Mitsubishi F-2, the only F-16 that America couldn't recognize. Welcome back to the channel. In 1995, something unprecedented happened in military aviation. Japan unveiled a fighter that looked like an F-16, but carried technology that wouldn't appear in American jets for another decade. The Mitsubishi F-2 became the world's first production fighter with radar so advanced it could track targets other planes couldn't even see. But here's what makes this story truly remarkable. The United States, known for jealously guarding its military secrets, not only allowed this transformation, but actually demanded it. Why would America hand over its crown jewel fighter design to be completely rebuilt? The answer reveals one of the most fascinating chapters in modern military cooperation. If you're fascinated by military innovation and want to share your thoughts on this incredible aircraft, type innovation in the comments below. The political chess game. The year was 1981. Japan's aging F-1 fighters were becoming obsolete. The Japanese wanted to build their own fighter from scratch. They had successfully license-built F-15 Eagles and believed their engineers could create something entirely new. But Washington had different plans. Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger delivered an ultimatum that would reshape aviation history. Either Japan would base their new fighter on an American design or face serious consequences in the broader U.S.-Japan relationship. This wasn't just about fighter jets. This was about maintaining America's technological edge while keeping a crucial ally dependent on American systems. The Japanese government faced an impossible choice. Build independently and risk damaging relations with their most important ally or accept American demands and sacrifice their dream of complete technological independence. They chose cooperation, but with a twist that nobody saw coming. What happened next would challenge everything America thought it knew about technology transfer. The birth of something extraordinary. In 1987, the FSX program officially began. On paper, it seemed simple take the proven F-16 design and modify it for Japanese needs. But the Japanese had no intention of building just another F-16 variant. They planned something revolutionary. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries took the F-16's basic framework and changed 95% of the engineering drawings. Imagine rebuilding a car but keeping only the basic shape while replacing every component with something better. That's exactly what Japan did. The fuselage grew 17 inches longer. The wings expanded by 25%, providing space for more fuel and weapons. But these weren't just size changes. The Japanese were pioneering technologies that would define the future of fighter aircraft. Here's where the story gets incredible. While America was still using traditional radar systems, Japan was developing something called AESA radar. Active electronically scanned array technology represented the future of aircraft detection systems. The F-2 would become the world's first production fighter to carry this game-changing technology. Revolutionary technology emerges. The JAPG-1 radar system that Japan developed for the F-2 was nothing short of revolutionary. While American F-16s were limited to tracking single targets, the F-2 could simultaneously track multiple threats across vast distances. This technology was so advanced that it wouldn't appear in American fighters for several more years. But radar was just the beginning. The Japanese engineers tackled one of fighter design's greatest challenges, making aircraft both larger and lighter. Traditional metal construction meant bigger wings equaled heavier aircraft. Japan's solution involved materials that barely existed in 1987. Graphite epoxy composites replaced traditional aluminum in the wing construction. 
This wasn't just an upgrade, it was a complete reimagining of how fighters could be built. The co-cured composite technology they developed allowed entire wing sections to be manufactured as single pieces rather than assembling hundreds of smaller parts. Shocking American officials. American observers were stunned by what they witnessed. The technology Japan was developing wasn't just different from the F-16, it was years ahead of anything in the American inventory. Pentagon officials had expected to mentor junior partners. Instead, they found themselves learning from their supposed students. The composite wing technology was so impressive that Lockheed Martin requested full technical details to incorporate into their own future designs. For the first time in the program's history, technology was flowing from Japan back to America. The student had become the teacher. But this technological leap came with a price that shocked everyone involved. The billion dollar controversy. When final costs were calculated, each F-2 carried a price tag four times higher than a standard F-16. Critics called it the most expensive fighter program in history, but they missed the bigger picture. Japan wasn't just buying aircraft, they were purchasing technological independence. The original plan called for 141 F-2 fighters. Budget constraints eventually reduced this to just 98 aircraft. Some politicians questioned whether the massive investment was worthwhile. Time would prove them wrong. Entering service with distinction, the F-2 made its maiden flight on October 7, 1995. Test pilots reported handling characteristics that surpassed the original F-16 in every measurable category. The larger wings provided superior maneuverability. The advanced radar offered unprecedented situational awareness. The composite construction delivered range and payload capabilities that amazed observers. By 2000, the first operational F-2s entered service with the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Pilots nicknamed it the Viper Zero, honoring both the F-16's Viper designation and Japan's legendary World War II Zero fighter. The name reflected the aircraft's dual heritage, American Foundation, with distinctly Japanese enhancement. Combat capabilities that impressed allies. The F-2's primary mission focused on protecting Japan's sea lanes from potential threats. Its enlarged weapons bay could carry anti-ship missiles that other fighters couldn't accommodate. The advanced radar could detect surface vessels at ranges that surprised even American naval officers. Before we continue exploring this remarkable aircraft's capabilities, I have a quick request. If you're enjoying this content, please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs nothing, but helps us tremendously. Did you click subscribe? But the F-2's capabilities extended far beyond anti-ship warfare. The aircraft could simultaneously engage multiple air targets while maintaining surface surveillance. This multi-role capability made it one of the world's most versatile fighters. Training exercises with American forces revealed the F-2's true potential. In simulated combat, scenarios, F-2 pilots consistently outperformed opponents flying traditional F-16S. The advanced radar and superior maneuverability provided decisive advantages that impressed veteran American pilots. Technological innovations that changed aviation. The technologies pioneered in the F-2 program influenced aircraft development worldwide. The composite wing construction techniques developed by Mitsubishi were later adopted by Boeing for the 787 Dreamliner. Military AESA radar technology found civilian applications in electronic toll collection systems and air traffic control. Japan had achieved something remarkable. They transformed a foreign design into a technological showcase that advanced the entire industry. The F-2 proved that international cooperation could produce innovations impossible for any single nation to achieve alone. Operational Excellence and Real-World Performance Throughout its service life, the F-2 compiled an impressive operational record. The aircraft's reliability rates exceeded expectations, with availability numbers that surpassed many contemporary fighters. Japanese maintenance crews developed expertise that impressed international observers. 
In 2013, when Russian aircraft briefly entered Japanese airspace near Kyushu, F-2 fighters responded immediately. The encounter lasted less than two minutes, but it demonstrated the aircraft's readiness and the skill of its pilots. Similar scrambles against various intrusions proved the F-2's effectiveness in real-world situations. The aircraft's unique blue camouflage scheme became instantly recognizable. Unlike the air superiority gray used by most fighters, the F-2's maritime-focused paint pattern reflected its specialized mission. This visual distinction emphasized Japan's commitment to their specific strategic requirements. International recognition and export interest. As word of the F-2's capabilities spread, other nations expressed interest. The Philippines recently announced they were evaluating the possibility of acquiring F-2 aircraft to modernize their air force. This international attention validated Japan's achievement in creating a world-class fighter. However, practical challenges limited export potential. Production ended in 2011 and restarting the manufacturing line would require substantial investment. The F-2 remained primarily a Japanese achievement, serving exclusively with the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Training the next generation F-2 pilots underwent extensive training that impressed international observers. The aircraft's advanced systems required longer preparation periods than traditional fighters, but the results spoke for themselves. Japanese pilots demonstrated proficiency levels that earned respect from allies worldwide. The two-seat F-2B variant provided excellent training capabilities. Instructor pilots could monitor student progress while maintaining full operational capability. This training effectiveness contributed to the program's overall success and pilot confidence. Looking toward the future. As the F-2 approaches retirement, Japan is developing its replacement under the Global Combat Air Program. This international collaboration with Britain and Italy builds upon lessons learned from the F-2 program. The next generation fighter, scheduled for deployment by 2035, will incorporate sixth-generation technologies that push aviation boundaries even further. The F-2's legacy extends beyond its impressive specifications. It demonstrated that smaller nations could contribute meaningfully to cutting-edge military technology. The program's success encouraged other international collaborations that continue advancing aviation technology today. Lessons in International Cooperation the F-2 program proved that technology transfer could benefit all participants when properly managed. American companies gained access to advanced composite manufacturing techniques. Japanese industry developed capabilities that positioned them as world leaders in aerospace technology. Both nations strengthened their alliance while advancing military aviation. This cooperation model influenced subsequent programs worldwide. The success of the F-2 showed that sharing technology, rather than hoarding it, could accelerate innovation and strengthen partnerships between allied nations. Technical Achievements That Amazed Experts The F-2's technical specifications impressed aviation experts worldwide. Its larger wing area provided 25% more space than the original F-16, enabling greater fuel capacity and additional weapon stations. The composite construction reduced weight while increasing strength, achieving engineering goals that seemed impossible just years earlier. The aircraft's integrated electronic warfare system, developed entirely in Japan, provided capabilities that rivaled much larger and more expensive platforms. This system integration demonstrated Japanese expertise in modern avionics and software development. Pilot testimonials and operational feedback. F-2 pilots consistently praised the aircraft's handling characteristics and combat effectiveness. The improved maneuverability allowed tactics impossible in the original F-16. The advanced radar provided situational awareness that significantly enhanced pilot confidence and mission success rates. Maintenance crews appreciated the aircraft's reliability and the accessibility of major components. The composite construction, initially viewed with skepticism, proved more durable than traditional materials while requiring less maintenance over time. The F-2's place in aviation history. Today, aviation historians recognize the F-2 as a pivotal aircraft 
that bridged the gap between fourth and fifth generation fighters. Its innovations in radar technology, composite construction, and systems integration influenced every subsequent fighter program worldwide. The aircraft's development timeline coincided with the end of the Cold War, demonstrating how international cooperation could replace confrontation in advancing military technology. The F-2 proved that allies working together could achieve more than any nation working alone. Impact on Japan's Aerospace Industry The F-2 program transformed Japan's aerospace industry from a license builder to an innovation leader. Companies like Mitsubishi Heavy Industries gained expertise that positioned them for leadership roles in future international programs. The technological base developed for the F-2 continues supporting Japan's aerospace ambitions today. This industrial transformation extended beyond military aviation. The composite manufacturing techniques and systems integration capabilities developed for the F-2 found applications in civilian aircraft, contributing to Japan's broader aerospace competitiveness. Continuing legacy and modern relevance. As current F-2 aircraft receive modernization upgrades, their operational relevance continues. New missiles, updated electronics, and enhanced communication systems keep these fighters competitive against modern threats. The aircraft's basic design proved so sound that incremental improvements maintain its effectiveness decades after first flight. The F-2's influence on pilot training, maintenance procedures, and operational doctrine continues shaping Japanese air power. Lessons learned from operating this advanced fighter inform decisions about future aircraft acquisitions and development programs. Conclusion The Mitsubishi F-2 stands as proof that international cooperation can produce extraordinary results. What began as American pressure for technology dependence became a partnership that advanced aviation technology for everyone involved. Japan transformed a foreign design into something uniquely their own, while America gained access to innovations that enhanced their own capabilities. This remarkable aircraft demonstrated that smaller nations could contribute meaningfully to cutting-edge military technology. The F-2's legacy continues influencing fighter development worldwide, proving that innovation knows no borders when nations work together toward common goals. The story of the F-2 reminds us that the best military technology emerges not from isolation, but from collaboration between allies committed to excellence. As we face future challenges, the F-2's example shows what's possible when nations combine their strengths rather than guarding their secrets. If you enjoyed learning about this incredible aircraft and the remarkable story behind its development, please give this video a like and subscribe for more fascinating military aviation content. Your support helps us bring you these amazing stories of innovation, courage, and international cooperation. What aspect of the F-2's development impressed you most? Share your thoughts in the comments below.